Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Patient Learning Pathways series. Today we'll be looking at treatments for nasal polyps. What are nasal polyps? Nasal polyps are often painless, non-cancerous growths on the lining of your nasal passage or sinuses. They can hang down like teardrops or grapes. For an overview of nasal polyps, watch our Nasal Polyps 101 Patient Learning Pathways program. How are nasal polyps treated? Nasal polyps can be persistent for some people and may never completely go away. However, there are treatments that can help a person live a full active life with nasal polyps. Steroid sprays called corticosteroids can shrink polyps or eliminate them completely. Oral corticosteroids, pills, or injectable steroids may reduce your symptoms. Talk to your doctor about the side effects of oral corticosteroids to be sure these are right for you. Injections can deliver a biologic medication to shrink or eliminate polyps and make it easier to breathe. Biologics work by targeting specific cells or proteins to reduce irritation and swelling. If other treatments don't help, sometimes surgery to remove the polyps provide the best relief. However, more than one surgery may be necessary if the polyps return. Can nasal polyps be prevented? Here are some ways you can reduce your chances of developing polyps. Manage your allergies and asthma by taking your medications as prescribed. Avoid irritation to your nasal passages, such as breathing in cigarette smoke, airborne allergies, and chemical fumes. If you smoke, talk to your doctor about quitting. Use a saline nasal rinse or spray to clean your nasal passages and sinuses of irritants. There are saline rinse products available at your local pharmacy to make this easier. After treatment, can nasal polyps return? Polyps often return following treatment. Talk to your doctor about how to best manage your nasal polyps and determine the best treatment for you long term. Join us soon for another Patient Learning Pathways presentation. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research. <laughs>